Hi folks, I'm Ben Blaylock. I'm a golf instructor in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm here to help you understand how to use your golf club to the best of your ability. Golf's an ancient game. It works with the human body. It's been designed the way it, it has been for many, many years. Golf clubs today, though the materials are, are much better than they were at the origin of the game, and even, even better than it was five years ago, things always improve. The golf club is still pretty much the same design that it's always been. It's a stick, it's got a weight on one end. With that weight amassed on one side of the shaft, we can see how all the weight is over here on this side of the shaft. And then we have a nice sticky grip that, that works with our sense of touch. It helps us maintain control of that club. Okay, that's, that's the part that gets most of us in trouble. Because we have such good adherence to the club here, it's very easy to try and make the club do what you want it to. We start directing the golf club. We hear we need We've got too flat a swing, so we try to make a more upright swing. Or vice versa, we try to go flatter when we hear we're too upright. All of these things are just, uh, honestly, they're fallacies. They're, they're posing. We're trying to make a pretty picture to please our own ego. Understand that your golf club is made to work with your body. Okay, that, that sticky grip is there to secure the club in your hand so that you can have responsive arms as you swing the golf club, you use centrifugal force, you produce it, and that club otherwise would want to fly out of your hands this way. It would want to slide right out. Okay, we don't want to do that, obviously, and so we, we tend to squeeze it tightly and try to direct the golf club through the golf ball. It's not how the game works. Okay, this golf club with the weighted end here, if I try to balance it on my finger, obviously it's going to fall over and try to return itself to vertical with the weighted end down. Hey, that's just normal. That's how the golf club works. Now also, if I try to balance it on my hand with the toe up in the air, that's not going to work either. The club's going to just turn right over. I don't have to give it any effort down here. I can just, I can just let go of it and it'll fall over one way or the other. It's going to fall down to the heavy end down. So the, the, the contact between your, your club and your palm and your fingers is really a big deal because, uh, you know, the club, the face of the club mirrors your hands. A lot of us fail to realize this because it doesn't really look like a hand, okay? But it does mirror your hand. So if I lay it across the palm of my left hand with the face down, I can put the leading edge of the club along this, this ridge here at the base of my fingers. Close my hand around, stand over here in an address position, and slide this golf club down. And you'll pretty quickly see that the back of my hand matches the golf club. So effectively, this is my hand on a stick. Same thing's true over here on the right. I can lay it with the trailing edge right along the, the ridge of, at the base of my fingers, close my hand around, address the ball, and slide it down this way. And you can see that my palm mirrors the face. Okay, so this is your hand on the end of a stick. Okay, Now, that, the fact that it's out here on the end of the stick gives it a lot more speed. Okay, This golf club is going to move really, really fast without me forcing it or applying leverage to the golf club to the back side of the shaft to try and cre create a lot of speed, that's just going to give me problems with contact. It's going to give me problems with balance as well. I need to understand that this is a round motion. It's not a linear motion. I'm not trying to push the club along a line. Even though we see a line and we try to, you know, tend, tend to instinctively try to swing the club down that line, it doesn't really work that way. It's a round motion. Okay, so what do I do with this thing? I, I know what it, what it is. I've got some basic understanding for it. I know how it works with me. Okay, so this, this heavy end is going to try and rotate your arm. If I just swing my hand around myself, just absent-mindedly, not thinking at all about my wrist or the jobs that it can do. You see my feet will move a little bit. My knees will move. My hips will move. Okay, and, and the most important thing to understand is that the face of the club opens and closes naturally in its own time, okay? That's not me, I'm not doing that consciously. The same thing would be true on my right side. Take my hand around my center and it's gonna close and open. Always automatically, never manipulated by me. Okay, so we understand that the club closes and opens naturally. It does that because your shoulder joint on either side is a ball and socket rolls in the joint, okay, and the club tries to make it roll. It helps you do that unconsciously. It's automatic.
That's why golf clubs have been built like this for 500 years, as long as the game's been around. So what am I going to do with this thing? Well, to get, to get ready to play the shot, I've got all that prior knowledge. I'm going to hold the club at my left side, and I'll pick the club up here. Now I'm going to let it fall out here to horizontal, and I really feel the weight of it on these fingers. I'm not squeezing it. If I squeeze it, I can't feel the weight. All I can feel is pressure here. I'm going to hold it lightly so I can really feel the weight on the end of that club. And I'll lay my right hand in here and just feel the weight on these fingers now. Okay? I can really feel how that club feels nice and heavy. That's good. I want that. I want that, that clear sensation of weight. Now I'll just bow forward. Hopefully I'm not standing too far from the ball. If I am, when I bow forward, I'll have to reach out to get the club behind the ball, and I'll feel tension here at the back of my, at the base of my rib cage on my back side. You'll start to feel a stretch there. We don't want that, okay? So again, we start here. Your arm just hangs free by your side. The club soles itself on the ground, and you just close your hand around it there. Pick it up, nice light pressure. Feel the weight. Add your other hand. Continue to feel the weight. Bow forward with no stretching at the back. Just bow forward and take a stance. Now it's important to recognize that the part of the ball we're going to hit is the back edge. So that back edge needs to be in the center of the stance, not the middle of the ball. We don't want the middle of the ball at the center of the stance because we can't hit the middle of the ball. We can only hit the back of it. So again, start here at the left side, sole the club, close your hand, feel the weight in both hands. Now bow forward, club comes behind the ball, and make your stance of equal width on either side. Now, big mistake that happens all the time, people like to rest the club on the ground, giving the weight of the club to the ground. Well, that's a terrible mistake to make because now if I'm gonna move this golf club, I have to grab and tighten my hand pressure to do that. As soon as I do that, I lose my sensitivity of where the club is in space. I wanna always have the weight of the golf club, okay? I have it, not the ground. Now, as I swing back, I've got the weight in my fingers. As it gets back here, that weight will fall to my thumb. Okay, obviously my left arm's bent a little bit. I really could care less about that. If you're one of those players that likes to stick it out straight, go for it. I don't teach it because I think it teaches rigidity in the arms. And rigidity is the, the antithesis of freedom and, uh, and you know a, a nice fluid golf swing. It's tense and rigid. That's going to kill you and rob you of speed and power. So let's just go ahead and feel the weight, bow forward. Now it moves from your fingers to your thumb. That's the backswing. I'm just moving the weight from fingers to left thumb. Fingers to left thumb. Don't think too much about weight shift. It's going to happen. We've got some technology here. We can measure it. I may make another video soon about how that works. But the big key here is moving the weight from fingers to thumb. That tells you that your backswing is finished and it's time to make a downswing. How simple is the downswing? Well, it's not very complicated. You've got the club resting on your thumb. Now we're just simply going to move our hands around the body, just like we did in those earlier one-arm swings. We're just moving the hands around the body in a nice curved arc, never in a straight line. So I'll hit a shot here and just show you the balance that comes with this type of approach to playing golf. Ball's flying. I could stand here and watch it, you know, as long as it takes to land. That was a great shot. I was really happy with it. Ball speed's about 120 miles an hour. That shot went 181 yards with very little effort. You know, it didn't, didn't take me a lot of work to create that. I used centrifugal force. I, you know, paid attention to the weight of the golf club. It released the face. That shot finished 15 feet left of my target with a nice little gentle draw, which I was very happy with. I like to play a draw, it comes to me naturally. And it can come to you naturally too if you can learn to use your golf club in the manner it's intended to be used. Okay, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. If you have questions, send me a message, put a comment here in, in the comment section. I'll answer it as soon as I can. I'll be watching for those comments and see how I can help you in the future. Now in the upcoming videos, we'll talk a little bit about weight shift and show you some of the information that these force plates that are, are very much in vogue in golf instruction can, can give us. There's a lot of information to be extrapolated from them. Uh, a lot of it's uh, great information, but can be confusing if we don't know what to do with it. So thanks again for watching, and I uh, hope to see you again soon.